Hi, Mark Savage here. Welcome to my channel. It's finally come. Yay! Here we have it. Taken just under four weeks, 328 pounds. Plus, the Royal Mail decided to charge £24 extra for charges for tax. And then, being a bank holiday miserable weekend like we always have, on a Friday, they told me the package was in their depot. And if I wanted it, I'd pay another £12. Otherwise, wait till I'm back to work. Bit of a no-boner, really. You do get screwed over. So, £36 plus £3.28. But it's here. So, in today's video, what are we going to see? Well, you're going to get to see the finished product straight away. I know some of you don't like watching all the crap I do, so you're going to see the finished product and then you're going to get into the video. So the parts that I've bought, getting them on the bike obviously, the old bike, what it looked like before, and then the finished product, a much better view of it. And at the end of the video you're going to see me putting some of the panels on. Decided to mess it up a little bit, um, there'll be a little bit of music and a few little words underneath, a little text on there. Now I did that to American Truck, and a couple of you came back and said, I don't like it. So I'm not gonna carry on with that. You'd rather me chatting then, thank you very much for watching me chat. I'm gonna have a look what's in this box now, because I can't wait. A long time, isn't it, you know? I like getting the bits, getting it done straight away. Without further ado, here is what the bike looks like now. For those of you that can't wait to the end of my video, here's a preview of what the bike looks like now, and you haven't got to watch no more. For the ones who want to stay with me, watch after this. Here it comes, and a bit of music. Now while I polish this bike for an inch of its life, you can watch the rest of the video now, getting all the parts, what like before, and be fixing it all together. Now, that wasn't so much fun, it started to rain, I had to cram it in there. I've stuck that right at the end. You haven't got to watch that if you don't want to. Hi Mark Savage here, welcome to my channel. Today, the fit. Halfords rear bowl. Set of four Rydian plugs. Hiflo oil filter. CBR bar ends, power line battery, antifreeze, brake fluid, brand new air filter, high flow one, high flow, high flow, always get it wrong. make it so hard to get into. Nice. Box of mini cheddars. Mini cheddars. Wait a minute. Handy knife.
no mini cheddars. But four litres of advanced shell oil, 10.40, job done. And now we're just waiting for a big box of panels to come from China. For you, that's come up next. For me, that's gonna take a month. So while I'm waiting, here's a quick review of what the bike looked like when I had it on the decking when I first got it. We're in the daylight, let's have a little look around at this motorbike. As I said, the front tyres, my MOT guy doesn't like them. They go hard, there's not a lot. Again, I've got to factor this in. That's okay, except a little chip there. We know what that is, don't we? That's a disc lock. <laughs> She's looking sorry for herself. They always do when you um, you get that little bit of a lop-eyed look to her. So, cracked, rubbish. Indicators were off, that was for the track day. Scratches down this side, burst there. Frame okay. It's obviously come off this side. That is a 50-50 whether I can strain it out. To be honest with you, I have had 50-50 success as well. One worked, one didn't. This may be the third one. Exhaust in very good condition and an original one. Tank, this side's okay, the other side's damaged. Let's go round. And this is the worst part where it went in the kitty litter. Gone. Wrecked. This I didn't pay much attention to. It is not damaged, there's no dents in it, but it's scratched. And that's something I'm going to have to sort out because it look rubbish. That goes there, you're still going to see it. Desperately need to sort that out as well. Anyway, engine cover damaged. Well, it's just scratched. That's something I'm going to have to sort out as well because that's the first thing people will notice, this and this. Got to be gone. Gear change, okay. Clutch was okay as well. Damage to this side of the tank, so... The covers I'm looking at, the fairing panels I'm looking at, we'll discuss that in a second. Rear wheel, well we did get his leg over nicely, and you can see this graining here. This is what's tyre go hard, it's not very good. I've seen people rub them down, you know, and then clean them all up and they're okay, but unless that's going to happen, I've got to weigh the factors and the, the cost of what it's going to cost. Back bit, all damaged, crap, and there, if you can see, is a stone from the kit that he went over in there. I'll make a bit of damage to your bike. Nice arse end to it. These CBRs are beautiful little bikes. 600s, bomb proof engines. We're going to have to look at the brake system as well. I don't know if we've got to drain all the fluid out. We'll have to have a look at that. So I guess this is a bonus feature. Thank you so much for watching all of my video. I know a lot of people just watch clips of it, fast forward it, don't really want to see it. But for me, Hopefully you'll be excited as I am to see the panels come out of the box. And let's just try and cut the box open out myself. All the way from China. I suppose, I like the Trump says, China. China. I don't know why he says that all the time. A bit controversial using Trump, isn't it? Since the death of American information, I don't need to hear it. We've got enough crap going on here in Britain, thanks. We've already funding the BBC, because they're... Right, he did say I get a free tinted screen. Dun, ba -da -dun, ba -da -dun. And yes, I did. Or have. One tinted screen. It's quite nice actually. It's about fifty pound there. One tank pad. Cheap and nasty. I debate whether to put that on. Now, when I bought this pack, I did contact him and I asked him. Oh, no, I didn't know I was getting these. It didn't show these in the um, in the pictures. I washed these up the other day because I thought they're scratched. Look at that. Now that's good. I actually didn't know he was putting them in there. Even the pictures he sent me didn't show. Sorry for the bustling. I didn't know I was getting them. They are brand spanking new and will look very nice. They haven't had some scratches over the years. I mean, it's a 19... No, it's not. It's a 2006 bike, so 14 years on the road. They're gonna be a little bit of a uh, marks, but these are brand new, which will match the panels. Fucking amazing. Right, where else do I get? Oh, 
and it's the belly bit. Again, this has got some road damage on it and some flicks up and a bit of paint I've been rubbing off the other day. A brand new one of them. Now that's really good, it's like that shape. That's really good, I'm really, really happy with that. I'm, I'm ecstatic with that. Right, in the pack, there's the CBR600 F4, which mine is. Don't worry, the, it, the dog's doing it again. I'm outside or she's outside, getting a bone. Now, there's the RR version, okay? And the RR version is a single seat, one and a back seat for the other, you put hump and so on. My version hasn't got that. So, uh, oh, 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 yes. It isn't like, do you know what? I will put the person I bought this from link in the description and I'll hashtag him. So if you do fancy buying some panels, oh, look at that. Can you see that? How nice is this going to look? And it's the right one. So I am ecstatically happy with that. I'm going to throw them away over there, I haven't got the room, but never mind. Normally I do this outside, as you know, but it's just terrible. Now, this is the extra. I think it was £299 you wanted for it originally, and another 30 quid if I had the tank, which didn't come in this set. So that shows how good he is. This was an RR set. He put another tank in there for me, and the F4 rear seat panel as well. So I am very, very happy with that. In here first, obviously, is the mud guard. Strange enough, this this was damaged as well through the steering lock. Yeah, steering lock. You know the um, disc locks. Everybody does it. They put a disc lock on there to stop it getting stolen. And you forget it's on there, and then as you ride away or push away, you smash the damn thing. The only person they seem to stop taking the bike is you. Nice black, very good condition. Bit hard to squeeze on when you're fitting it. Wonderful assistant now is taking the stuff for me rather than me leaving it on the sofa. Ba, 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 ba. I've got to say, it's all very well packed. Quite impressed. I really was worried it all would be in silly little pieces, you know. I mean, it's a long way this time, isn't it? Oh, yeah, it's the right one. Yes, it is. A lot of the tanks that I looked at, because again, you look at pictures, watch my last video on the um, fuel pump, they all look the same until you get the item and then find out it's completely different. I had that on the Yamaha YBL 125 with the static coils, you know, and I had it on Peugeot Speed Fights with the Bendix and all those sorts of things. This is the right one. I am so happy. And it's got not the massive dip. Still the same size tank, but that looks amazing. And that will cover... My scratch tank, there's a few little scratches on there. This will cover it beautifully. Thank you, assistant. <laughs> right. Oh, wow. It didn't say this. Mate, I want to send them the link to this video as well. They were not on the picture either. And not damaged on my one, but I didn't know it came with these. That is dark. Oh, that's what you call a complete set of panels. Um, I know the uh, screen was extra, but I didn't know I got these, and now it's really coming to fruition that it's well worth the money. Thank you, assistant. <laughs> right, this is the front panel that got damaged, actually cracked. Better than Christmas for me. I don't think certain gender people understand the excitement you get when you're doing this. It's not like a perfume box or anything, or you know, other bits. <laughs> Do you know presents for men? You can get men presents like a drill or you know, a hammer set or socket set, and he's really happy. You get a woman. Okay, you get an ironing board or an iron or a hoover and she hates you. How are we so different? You know I was going to buy her a hoover for like a birthday and she like scowled at me like, don't you dare. But why not? We like tools, don't we? Oh, she's giving me some angry looks. I'm glad you can't see her in the picture. Anyway, <laughs> why are we so different? Like cats and dogs. Look! Mmm! Now, 
all the holes ready, but it doesn't come with the little screws and nuts and stuff like that, um, and the clips to screw them in. I did look at a couple of packs on eBay, and they're just generic, so I didn't bother. I've got so much crap there anyway, so, but that, oh, with a nice tinted screen, lovely. Thank you, assistant. She's still assisting after I moaned about it. But she knows it's true. She's the one that told me. You're the one that told me you can't do it. Write comments below. Ask your missus, can I buy you a Hoover for Christmas or birthday? Look at their faces, like, <coughs> like just stepped on their towel. Very well wrapped. Glad I managed to say that. Yeah. I'm really, really impressed with this set so far. I mean, yeah, I've got to see if it fits a damn bike yet. Oh. Come on, come on. There you go. Oh. Oh. Now, how nice is that? Uh, you know, I put stickers on them, and uh, there's not a mark on these. When I sell this bike, if the guy I sell it to comes off it, I will kill him. That's just pretty as hell, isn't it? Thank you, assistant. Mm. And that all scratched. <laughs> You're fired. Who <Hula. laughs> And the last one. Yeah. I can't mind about how long it takes me to get them out. After this, you're going to get to see me putting them on. Now, it will be in the shed, unfortunately, because it's just too bloody windy outside. Unless I put them on with some music. Oh, there's an idea. I might try that times two bit where it's fast, a bit of music, be putting them on. And if you don't like it, you can just go to the next Great Mark Savage video. Anyway, look at that. The other side, just, just beautiful. I'm so impressed. CBR Fireblade. Well, there you go. First one's got to be the tank. This was a bugger. Getting the back light and then getting the two connectors back in again. Really bloody finicky. But it goes on. We'll need some of the other nuts and bolts from the old panel. This one here, I have to get them out. And they just pop in in the corners here. So don't chuck away your old panels before you get your new ones, because I would have forgot these two. So I'm indoors now. Um, the front nose cone was a lot more difficult than I expected to be. I had to put these little nose cone bits in. Um, I had to fit the screen to get the old bits off of there. Um, wind mirrors, indicators, and the headlight. But that wasn't the issue. I mean, I got all that on. I had the front on, and no matter how I tried to line this up, it wouldn't go on. And I and it started to rain, and I started to really get angry. Um, it turned out that this little bar here, <laughs> the stabiliser bit you put the mirrors on that holds the whole front on, was just ever slightly pushed in. I mean, it's not, you know, cast iron or anything. It does move. But because it looked pushed in, it wouldn't line up. Hence me swearing, screaming, and shouting. But it's on now, I'm just gently lining it up. I've um, got the side panels and all the left bits to go on there. But as it's raining, you know, let me just show you the front quickly. Come on, is that starting to look nice or what? Look at that. It really is coming along now. So, so far all the panels have gone really, really well. This one next. And I have to put these little lugs in. Listen, it's not a two-man job. It's a one-man person. Yeah, woman, man, doesn't matter. Um, you need patience and not get really, really angry. Give yourself some time to do it. Now, if you've still got the old panels on, then I would take them off literally as you're doing it. Because this is over a month since I last got here, I've got no idea <laughs> what screws go where. 
it's all in here so I pretty much know when I pick something up that goes there so I've made a few little mistakes and disappointing is the mirrors and indicators they have got marks on them they look old that's pissed me off a little bit if I'm honest with you uh, I'm very tempted to pay out but then where'd you stop you know this is a, is what is it a 14 year old bike and the front mirrors and indicators are going to let it down so do I pay another 30 40 pound out to it off probably but let's get it all back together. Really good having these panels. This one goes on loosely, and I've said it, put them on loosely, because you may have to alter them. But because of that bar being slightly out of shape, it really did anger me, didn't go as well as I thought. This one on next, this will go here, and then we've got the little middle part to go on. I am missing a few little nuggets here and there, but um, I've got loads of screws, nuts and bolts, so I'm getting away with that. If you don't have extras lying around, get one of those kits. It will be handy. It will allow you to put some bits and bobs in. Um, so this is panels going on now. I'll show you in a second. So I'm having a bit of a moment at present minute. When I got a little box of goodies, I thought they were um, crash bungs. And I thought they hadn't been fitted. But at the end of the crash bung, was a dog bark, you know was these two little bits and I realised that the dog's barking SHUT UP! that they should have bolts on the end and they should have gone in the frame they were snap bolts this side came out perfectly this side, being a bitch, did not so, been a mess on the floor, I've had to drill it out and uh, re-tap it um, all I've got now is one panel to go on yay! this panel went on lovely let me show you. That's gone on really, really well. Now, of course, I'm going to get it out in a minute and show you how lovely it looks. I'll just get around the front here. Come on. That's starting to look nice, isn't it? So we've just got this one panel to go on here and the belly bit I had to get on. They're nicely on. So I'm trying to say, you know, it's got a few little marks on it. I'll polish them up, but that's ready to go on. So. so, thank you so much for watching this series. No more on this one, no more for a while from me. Coming out next series, probably next year. Take care of yourselves on the road. Thank you so much for staying with me. Please like, share, and subscribe. That's all I can ask. So, for those you who do watch to the end, there's an egg, I suppose. I'm moving, so no more in the shed really nice big double floor garage we're working from there gonna be doing a few on my truck on my other channel just to keep me ticking over and then we'll start the bikes in new year <laughs> guess what came China. Oh, just a little under four weeks with another £24 uh, custom charges. And because it's a bank holiday weekend, which doesn't seem like it outside with freezing cold weather and wind and rain, mind you, not as bad as you had in the States, I'd say. Another £12 on top, unless I wanted to wait three days till Tuesday when I'm back to work. So another £36 on top of the £328 that I paid. What's inside? We're going to find out in a minute because I'm going to open it up and have a look. Yummy. Now, today's video is going to be in several parts. Obviously, you see in this big box now, you have a little bit of me getting all the parts I need for the bike. You're going to see the old bike the way it was before, and then you're going to see the way it looks with all these lovely panels on, including dog. And then at the end, I'll show you fitting some of the panels. Now, because Gale Force winds outside, I can't do it outside. Not very good continuity. But you get the chance to basically see the bike as it is. Which is going to come up straight after this. And then you'll get to see the rest of the video, which makes no fucking sense. Let's take that out. So in today's video, you're going to now see the bike as it's going to look. So in today's video, you're going to get straight away, straight into this video. Oh, fucking did. So 
So I'm indoors now and uh, I've finished kicking and swearing. This nose cone, um, I had to put the front grill bits in first. I'm hoping a lot of you have watched the whole little series of this. This is the last one now for a while for me. So let's get back into me. So now for the rest of the video, let's get. Oh. And now while I polish this bike from an inch of its life, you can watch the rest of the video now, getting all the parts, what like before, and me fixing it as it was. And be fixing it all together. Now that wasn't so much fun. It started to rain. I had to cram it in there. I've stuck that right at the end. You haven't got to watch that if you don't want to. So thank you so much for watching this series. No more on this one. No more for a while from me coming out next series probably next year take care of yourselves on the road thank you so much for staying with me please like share and subscribe it's all i can ask and for those of you who do watch to the end i'm moving nice big garage I'll be in there doing these and so for those you do watch to the end little egg I suppose I'm moving so no more in the shed got a really nice big double floor garage be working from there gonna be doing a few on my truck on my other channel just to keep me ticking over and then we'll start the bikes in new year Thank you, honest, thank you for watching me.